A Hill Country artist is taking on the monumental task of creating a collection honoring the late Congressman John Lewis. The civil rights icon may have never even visited Fredericksburg, but as Eyewitness News reporter Marvin Hurst shows us, his life and times have found an inspired space. What may seem like a scrappy house in the Texas Hill Country is the unofficial art institute Hi, Marvin. of Jonas Perkett. Hey, yeah, I'm ready. I gotta put my hat on. He's assembled a body of work. I started with a little piece of clay with this friend of mine. That has brought him to a moment. Since 1970. He never thought he'd get his hands on. He's my hero because he did it for real. The 73-year-old is working on an art collection honoring the late Congressman John Lewis. Get out there and push and pull until we redeem the soul of America. Piece by piece, he's creating a 13-foot monument of Lewis. The soundtrack of his inspiration is an interview between the late Gwen Ifill and Lewis about the 1963 March on Washington. We do not want our freedom gradually, but we want to be free now. 57 years after the march, Lewis's exhortation on equality is so ingrained in this project, Perkins says he can hear his voice when he sleeps. I'm hearing the voices of the people he's trying to help. He recalls the same process when he sculpted San Antonio's Korean War Memorial, one of his many recognized projects. I like to take that spirit that I see and feel and then maybe you see and feel and then find a suitable body. At least five mosaics are also a part of Lewis's collection, which Perkins hopes will find a permanent home in the late Congressman's district in Atlanta. I keep calling him a little big man. Perkins says the artful tribute is inspired by the fiery teen who walked into a beating on Bloody Sunday. Uh, you want to talk about ascending. He ascended fear. A man he says sought equality and honor and held tight to the perseverance to accomplish both. There's still work left to be done. Marvin Hurst, Ken's 5, Eyewitness News.